There are miracles that will happen without our involvement at times, but most of the miracles of the Bible happen when we are engaged in the process. God works together with us. God wants to get you involved in your miracle. Look at 2 Kings 4, 3 through 6. This is what happened now. Elisha said, go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. He said, this is how your miracle. You got this jar of oil, right? That's your seed. Everybody say seed. seed. That's your seed right there, right? Now, here's what I want you to do. You found the oil. I know it's a little bit, but here's what you do next. Go around all of your neighbors and ask them for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few. And then go inside and shut the door behind you and your sons. Pour oil into all the jars. And as each is filled, put it to one side. She left him and afterwards shut the door behind her her and her sons. They brought the jars to her and she kept pouring. When all the jars were full, she said to her son, bring me another one. But he replied, there's not a jar left. Then the oil stopped flowing. Notice what happened here. She's got her seed, right? Flask of, of oil. She's found her seed. Now God says, go to all your neighbors and ask them to borrow jars. She goes next door. Hi, I'm your neighbor. Can I have all your jars? What do you need them for? I have no idea. Can I have your jars? Yeah, give me, what's this for? I don't have a clue. This guy told me I just got to get jars. I will bring them back to you, okay? She goes around all of her neighbors, gets all the jars, brings them back, and then she's instructed to do what? To start taking her little seed and pouring it out into the jars. See, your seed will never work as long as it stays in, and it's jarred, Okay. Are you hearing me this morning? That's another message for another day. I'm tempted to preach it right now, but I'm not going to. Okay, okay, okay. If you keep your seed in its jar, it'll never, it'll never do a single thing for you. You got to do something with your seed. So she began to pour it out. She hits one jar, another jar, goes through all the jars. And all of them are filling up. And every time she fills up, this one refills again, miraculously. So it's a miracle. But she's involved in it. God didn't pour the jar for her. She poured it, right? 